Good afternoon. My name is Sandra Piguet. I serve as the chair of the STC UNM Board of Directors, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 UNM Innovation Awards webinar. This ceremony is STC's annual event to recognize the accomplishments of the University of New Mexico faculty, staff, and students who have received issued patents for their inventions. The STC Innovation Awards is a reflection of the remarkable, innovative, and entrepreneurial spirit at UNM. Many of the technologies being recognized with a patent tonight are already options and licensed to companies. Some have led to the creation of new startup companies and others are being marketed for commercial opp opportunities. Several inventors receiving this award this year are actively involved in startup companies. These honored, those honored this year are critical partners in building an innovation ecosystem in New Mexico. We admire the ingenuity and scientific rigor that it takes to create technologies that can contribute to both the common good and economic growth. These discoveries are pioneering advances in science and are also economically viable because of the collaboration and entrepreneurial spirit among UNM inventors who are helping us build the relationships that lead to commercialization. On behalf of the UNM Board of Directors, I would like to thank all of the inventors honored this year for their hard work, creativity, and vision. And now I would like to welcome UNM President Gardette Stokes for opening remarks and the introduction of our keynote speaker. Thank you, Sandra, for that wonderful introduction. And good afternoon to all of you, and welcome to this Innovation Awards webinar. While circumstances prevent us from celebrating in person, there's something really appropriate about the fact that we're using technology to be together. Never let it be said that we are not embracing innovation. I wanna congratulate the remarkable Lobo inventors who are being recognized here today for receiving issued patents that have resulted from their scientific discoveries. Thomas Edison once said that genius was 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Well, you've definitely put in both the sweat and the brain power, and now we all can reap the benefits of your particular brands of genius. Your work and the commercialization outcomes that result from it are important to the University of New Mexico and to the entire state of New Mexico. All of you inventors represent a growing community of role models for new inventors and entrepreneurs who are growing the innovation economy in the land of enchantment and throughout the United States. I'm proud of and inspired by all of you, and I really, I can't wait to see what you do next. And speaking of inspired, I'm very pleased to introduce your keynote speaker for this afternoon, Douglas M. Brown, President of the Board of Regents and a recognized financial leader with many years of experience in banking and finance. Mr. Brown was previously appointed to the UNM Board of Regents in 2003 and served on the board until he was appointed State Treasurer of New Mexico in 2005, where he helped the state achieve its first ever AAA rating from Standard & Poor's. He also served as the Dean of the UNM Anderson School of Management from 2009 until 2014 and was awarded the title of Dean Emeritus upon retirement. Mr. Brown currently serves as the head of Brown & Brown Ventures, but he's been active in the nonprofit sector as well, serving on over 50 boards of directors, including STC. Locally, his chairmanships have included the United Way, Albuquerque Academy, Albuquerque Community Foundation, Anderson Foundation, and Santa Fe Chamber Music Festival. Mr. Brown holds a bachelor's and an MBA from Stanford University. And we are very honored to have him as part of the UNM community. Please help me welcome our keynote speaker, my friend and colleague, Douglas M. Brown. Okay, hi, I'm Doug Brown, and thank you, President Stokes, for that way overly generous introduction. Uh, and thank you, Sandra Begay. You have been such a supporter of STC, both from your technical background of your own in engineering, a career with Sandia with real distinction, but for all the leadership that you've given to STC, including your current membership on the board, 
previously being a chair of the board and so on, and a wonderful colleague on the current board of regents. <clears throat> you know, uh, I, as President Stokes said, that innovation or invention is 1% is inspiration and 99% perspiration. I like to think of that as 99% persistence. And I think in the case, Lisa, you have taken this organization over the last 17 years forward. And I don't know how many people appreciate the number of speed bumps along the way. <clears throat> we had a, I remember an early regents meeting in which uh, there were some impatient regents who wanted instant gratification, a gusher of money coming out of this, hardly realizing that uh, a signal benefit of SDC and of providing these facilities and resources is attracting and retaining top research talent. It's a bonus if you can make a lot of money along the way. And guess what? Given a little time with the talent and the nurturing that you've done, why millions began to flow in. Over 2,000 invention disclosures, over 1,500 patent applications. STC's role also has gone way beyond facilitating and uh, encouraging and processing into promoting and consulting. And with the help of the Checky Venture Lab that Lisa created, uh, spun off 135 companies at this point. Um, <clears throat> Lisa's also assembled a great team at STC and over the years has cultivated a wonderful and active board who uh, she has used, I think, very well. That, collaborate, that collaboration that she and her team are so good at has extended to the National Labs, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and now with Rob Del Campo and Innovate, uh, Innovation Academy, I just continue to make progress. Uh, so congratulations, Lisa and STC on this glorious 25th anniversary uh, and all that you've done, and we look forward to where you're going. And a special congratulations to the 57 Innovation Award winners today. Speaking of innovation, <clears throat> who better to take this program forward than my colleague, Richard Larson, Vice Chancellor for the Health Science Center and himself an eight times award winner. Uh, now this is supposed to be a brief introduction, but Richard, I'm sorry, you make this challenging because your accomplishments are just staggering. A summa cum laude graduate from University of North Carolina, where you talk about being on the fast track, he was on the track team. In fact, was all conference in cross country and, and in, in track. Went on there to get both an MD and a PhD in immunology from Harvard University, where he returned 20 years later for their advanced leadership program. In addition to hitting research at HSC, he also uh, takes care of strategy, um, operations of all types, and economic development for this $2 billion organization. Richard's also chair of the, chair of the board of Tricor Laboratories, which, by the way, has just done a heroic job during this pandemic in coming up with and perfecting the testing and the providing the extra resources that have benefit to all of us. Richard's also the president and board chair of the New Mexico Bioscience Authority. And among his 38 awards is that he is honorary commander at Kirtland Air Force Base. So again, my pleasure to introduce to you, Richard Larson, Dr. Richard Larson. Good afternoon. I am so excited to congratulate all of you on your patents and inventions. A university's foundation is in its education and its research and development. Education passes on existing knowledge while research creates new knowledge. But quite often we forget the development piece, which brings that new knowledge into practical impact. Inventions and patents fill that critical gap between research and development. 
This gap can only be filled by a few faculty like yourself. It's critical, it's impactful, and it's rare. I want to congratulate all of you on behalf of the UNM Health Sciences Center, its leadership, other faculty, staff, and students. We are proud of what you have accomplished. It will have lasting impact. Congratulations. Thank you, Richard. <clears throat> and it's a, my pleasure to be with you this afternoon. Um, UNM Vice President for Research and the 2016 STC Innovation Fellow, uh, Dr. Gabriel Lopez, was not available to prepare a video or be with us today, but he did ask that I relay his felicitations and gratitude to all of the inventors honored today. He joins this celebration of your success in spirit. I'm Lisa Kutala, and I'm the CEO and Chief Economic Development Officer at stc.unm. And I wanted to thank all of you for attending our Innovation Awards webinar this afternoon. I would like to start by recognizing the nine sponsors of this year's event. These sponsorships have made it possible for STC to award financial stipends to the in inventor honorees. At the gold level, Shore Chan de Pumpo LLP, Sussman Godfrey LLP, Velauskas Quarter LLC, Vote IP are sponsors at the gold level. Uh, Kosud Intellectual Property Solutions, Meeting Rosh and Gebhardt, uh, Nusenda Credit Union, and Schwegman, Lundberg, and Wussner at the silver level and MH2 Technology Law Group at the bronze level. The majority of these sponsors are law firms that STC works with, prosecuting our patents and helping us enforce them. We really, really appreciate the, the support that our law firms provide to the organization. It is one of the critical elements of STC's operation. I'd also like to recognize Lucinda Credit Union for its partnership with STC, the university, Innovate ABQ, many, many ways that they support the university's activities. So thank you to Lucinda. In addition, let me turn now to the Innovation Fellow metrics for a moment. In addition to our newest Innovation Fellow, Dr. David Witten, I would also like to acknowledge the STC Innovation Fellows from previous years. They include the first Innovation Fellow being Steve Bruick, who has five issued patents this year for a total of 85 U.S. patents. Our 2011 Innovation Fellow is Larry Scalar, who has a total of 44 issued patents. Our 2012 Innovation Fellow, Steve Percy, has a total of 27 issued patents. Our 2013 Innovation Fellow is Graham Timmons. He received one issued patent this year for a total of 13 issued patents. Our 2014 Innovation Fellow is Plamen Atanasov, who received one issued patent this year for a total of 39 issued patents. Our 2015 Innovation Fellows, we had two that year. Jeff Brinker, who has a total of 39 uh, UNM affiliated US patents, and Cheryl Willman, who has a total of five UNM affiliated US patents. Our 2016 Innovation Fellows, Gabrielle Lopez, who received one issued patent this year for a total of 35 issued patents to date. Our 2017 Innovation Fellows, there were two of them, Bryce Chikurian, who received one issued patent this year for a total of 11 issued uh, UNM affiliated patents, and David Peabody, who has a total of 10 uh, UNM affiliated US patents. Our 2018 Innovation Fellow is Sang M. Han, who received two issued patents this year for a total of 20 UNM affiliated US patents. 
in 2019 Innovation Fellow Angela Wanayernes, who received one issued patent this year for a total of seven UNM affiliated US patents. This is a significant group of inventors for UNM who, who have led the way in providing innovation and invention as an example for our faculty, staff, and students. Our 2020 Innovation Fellow is David Witten. The STC Board of Directors created the Innovation Fellow Award in 2010 to honor a University of New Mexico inventor whose body of technologies has generated significant commercialization activities. <clears throat> These fellows are chosen by the STC Innovation Fellow Board Committee based on achievements in new technologies disclosed, patents received, license and option agreements entered into, new companies started, and income generated from their technologies. This year, we are honored to recognize Dr. David G. Witten as the 2020 STC in Innovation Fellow. Dr. Witten has excelled as an inventor at the University of New Mexico, disclosing 33 technologies and has received 17 issued patents. He was selected as a distinguished professor in 2016 and is the associate director of the Center for Biomedical Engineering. Motivated by a desire to find a better method for disinfection, Dr. Witten and his students and collaborators have developed novel antimicrobial polymers and oligomers and conjugated polyelectrolytes that have unique properties as antimicrobials, killing bacteria, viruses, fungi, and biofilms in dark and light activated processes. Dr. Witten's research focuses on the mechanisms by which these compounds are active and on several potential applications based on their antimicrobial properties. The STC Board of Directors is honored to recognize Dr. Witten as the 2020 Innovation Fellow for the work he has done and the work he continues to do at the University of New Mexico. This year also marks STC's 25 year anniversary. We have decided to hold an additional celebration in the fall to celebrate this milestone year and to also officially honor our innovation fellow, Dr. Witten. This event will allow Dr. Witten to make a speech and share his innovation story. More information about this event will be announced in the coming months. We would also like to recognize two UNM inventors who have been elected as fellows of the National Academy of Inventors, Dr. Bryce Chakirian and Dr. David Peabody. Election to NAI fellow status is a high professional distinction given to academic inventors who have demonstrated a prolific spirit of innovation. Both Dr. Chikirian and Dr. Peabody's work in vaccine development is being recognized for making a tangible impact on quality of life, economic development, and the welfare of society. We would like to congratulate them both for this significant achievement. Now I would like to turn to the metrics for the 2020 Innovation Awards. This year, there were 57 UNM inventors who received issued patents uh, on 54 issued patents and trademarks. There were 33 patents from the main campus and 20 patents from the Health Sciences Center and one from a technology resulting from collaboration between both campuses. I know you always each year wait for me to say which department and centers have received the most patents, so I will defer no longer and share that information with you. The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering uh, received 11 patents this year, which was the most of any department on campus. And the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering received eight 
issued patents this year. With that, there were many departments who received issued patents, and I'll give you some of those statistics as well. The Department of Computer Science had five issued patents, and the Departments of Internal, Medis Internal Medicine and Pharmaceutical Sciences each had four issued patents this year. The Department of Neurology had three issued patents, as did the Departments of Pathology and Molecular Genetics and Microbiology. Mechanical Engineering received two issued patents this year. Physics and Astronomy, Chemistry and Chemical Biology, Radiology, Anesthesiology, and Health, Exercise, and Sports Science all received one issued patents. So you can see that the reach is considerable across our campus. The Center for High Technology Materials received 12 issued patents this year, which was the highest of any center on campus. In addition, the Center for Biomedical Engineering received four issued patents. The Comprehensive Cancer Center received three issued patents. And the Center for Microengineered Materials received one issued patent. The Center for Emerging Energy Technologies received two issued patents this year. So our centers are a hotbed of invention, uh, likely due to the collaboration that is fostered among different disciplines in those centers. And now it's my privilege to do the virtual presentation of awards to all of the inventors this year. And these will be in alphabetical order. The first honoree is Dr. James Aristad, who is a research professor in the School of Engineering, a chief scientist at Cosmiac Research Center, and his technology is part of the startup Enthentica. Next is Dr. Leyden Arisian, who is a research assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. Our next awardee is Dr. Dorian C. Arnold, who is an associate professor in the Department of Computer Science. Next is Dr. Plamen Adanasov, who is a chancellor's professor at the Department of Chemical and Bio Bio Biomolecular Engineering at the University of California, Irvine. He is also a research professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at UNM. He's also our 2014 Innovation Fellow and a 2017 NAI Fellow. His technology is part of the startup Pajarito Powder. Our next awardee is Dr. Ganesh Balakrishnan, who is a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and Associate Director at the Center for High Technology Materials. Our next awardee is Dr. Kieran Baskar, who is an associate professor in the Department of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology and co-director of the Brain and Behavioral Health Institute. His technology is part of the startup Biosafe Defenses. Next is Dr. Edgar Bodeker, who is a professor in the Department of Internal Medicine in the Division of Gastroenterology. Our next inventor is Virginia Bondu, who's an associate scientist in the Department of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology. Our next awardee is Steve Bruick, who is a distinguished professor emeritus in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, director emeritus for the Center for High Technology Materials, our first innovation fellow in 2010, an NAI fellow in 2015, and whose technologies are part of the startups Armonica Technologies and GPB Scientific. Our next awardee is Dr. Tiona Baranda, who is an associate professor in the Department of Pathology. Next is Dr. Thomas Cowdell, Professor Emeritus in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Next is Dr. Bryce Chikurian, who is Professor and Vice Chair in the Department of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology. He's also a 2017 STC Innovation Fellow and 2019 NAI Fellow. Next is Dr. Eva Chi. She's a Professor and Regents Lecturer in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, 
a member of the Center for Biomedical Engineering. Her technology is part of the startup Biosafe Defenses. Next is Dr. Christos Christodoulou, who's the Jim and Ellen King Dean of Engineering and Computing in the School of Engineering. He's a distinguished professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and he's also an STC board member. Next is Dr. Joseph Kostantin, who is a research associate professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Next is Dr. John Claude Deals, who is a professor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy and a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. Next is Dr. Jeremy Edwards. He's professor and department chairman in the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology. His technology are part of the startups Equiseek and Armonica Technologies. Next is Dr. Fernando Garzon, who's a professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering and director for the Center for Microengineered Materials. Next is Dr. Stephen Graves, who's a professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, a member of the Center for Biomedical Engineering, and his technology is part of the startup Bennu Bio Inc. Next is Dr. Frederic Rio, who is a research professor and member of the Center for High Technology Materials. Next is Dr. Pamela Hall. She's an associate professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and her technology is a part of the startup Sensor Kinesis Corporation. Next is Dr. Sang Ian Han, who is an associate professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. He's a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. His technology is part of the startup Osazda Energy LLC. Next is Dr. Seng M. Han, who is a Regents Professor and, and the Associate Chair of the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. He's also Director of the Nanoscience and Microsystems Engineering Program. He's a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. He is a 2018 STC Innovation Fellow. His technology is part of the startup Osasta Energy LLC. Our next awardee is uh, Dr. Siak Jun Han, who's a research assistant in the Center for High Technology Materials. Our next awardee is Dr. Helen Hathaway, who's a professor in the Department of Cell Biology and Physiology and a member of the Comprehensive Cancer Center. Our next awardee is Dr. Adam Hecht, who's an associate professor in the Department of Nuclear Engineering. Next is Dr. Ivy Hurwitz, who is a research associate professor in the Department of Internal Medicine and a member of the Center for Global Health. Our next awardee is Dr. Matthew Lakin, who is an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and a member of the Center for Biomedical Engineering. Our next awardee is Dr. S.C. Lee, who is a research associate professor and a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. Our next awardee is Jim Liu, who is a distinguished professor and associate dean for research in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Neurology. Next is our vice president for research, Dr. Gabrielle Lopez. He is a professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. He's a founding director and member of the Center for Biomedical Engineering, 2016 Innovation Fellow, 2016 NAI Fellow, as technologies are part of several startups, Bennu Bio, Biosafe Defenses, and GPB Scientific. He's also an STC board member. Next is um, Dr. Sean Lewan who is a professor in the Department of Computer Science and the Department of Radiology. Our next awardee is Dr. Andrea Mamoli, who is a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and director of the Center for Emerging Energy Technologies. Our next awardee is Anthony Menacucci, who is a research assistant and doctoral student in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and a member of the Center for Emerging Energy Technologies. 
<clears throat> Our next awardee is Dr. Erin Milligan, who's an associate professor in the Department of Neurosciences. Next is Dr. Abdullah Muin, associate professor in the Department of Computer Science. Our next awardee is Dr. Alexander Newman, who's a research assistant professor and a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. His technology is part of the startup Armonica Technologies. Our next awardee is Jeff Nuremberg. He is Professor and Director Emeritus in the Department of Anesthesiology and Critical Care Medicine. His technology is part of the startup Concardia BV. Our next awardee is Dr. Merrick Osinski, and he's a distinguished professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and a member of the Center for High Technology Materials. Next is Dr. Rong Khan. She's a research assistant professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Science. Our next awardee is Dr. Sarojit Paul, who's a professor in the Department of Neurology and whose technology is part of the startup company Zosir. Our next awardee is Dr. John Plumley, who is a postdoc appointee in the Center for Microengineered Materials. Our next awardee is Dr. James Plasquelic, a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. His technologies are part of two startups, IC Safety, LLC, and Inthentica Inc. Our next awardee is Eric Prosnitz. Dr. Eric Prosnitz is a distinguished professor in the Department of Internal Medicine. He's chief of the Division of Molecular Medicine. He's the Marilyn Bud Key Endowed Chair in Cancer Chemical Biology and Therapeutics. He's also the co-leader of the Cancer Therapeutics Program in the Comprehensive Cancer Center. He's also the Associate Director of Autophagy, Inflammation, and Metabolism in the Center for Biomedical Research Excellence. He is the leader of the Team Science and Commercialization in CTSC, and he is the UNMPI on the Ascend Grant. His technologies are part of several startups, Jeeper G1 Development Group, Linnaeus Therapeutics, and Sandia Biotech. He is also an STC board member. Next is our awardee, Dr. G. Sharma. She's a research assistant professor in the Department of Internal Medicine in the Division of Molecular Medicine. The, her technologies are part of the startup Jeeper G1 Development Group. Our next awardee is Dice Shibata, who's an assistant professor in the Department of Health, Exercise, and Sports Science. Our next awardee is Dr. Laurel Sillerud, who's a research professor, Department of Neurology. Our next awardee is Peter Simons. Dr. Simons is an associate scientist in the Department of Pathology. Next is Dr. Darko Stefanovic, who's a professor in the Department of Computer Science and a member of the Center for Biomedical Engineering. Our next awardee is Dr. John Stormont, who is a professor in the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering, and he is an STC board member. Next is Dr. Mahmoud Taha, who is a distinguished professor, regents lecturer and chair in the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering. And uh, our next awardee is Dr. Yusuf Talk who is the uh, research associate professor in the Department of Computer Engineering. Our next awardee is Dr. Graham Timmons, who is an associate professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, 2013 STC Innovation Fellow, and has technologies in two startups, Avisa Pharma and Spinsutica. Our next awardee is Dr. Angela Wanninger Ness, who is a professor in the Department of Pathology. She is the Victor and Ruby Hansen Surface Endowed Professor in Cancer Cell Biology and Clinical Translation. She's the Associate Director for Education, Training, and Mentoring in the Comprehensive Cancer Center. She is the 2019 STC Innovation Fellow, and her technology is the basis for the startup company Revere Pharmaceuticals. Our next awardee is Dr. David G. Witten, 
who is a distinguished professor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, Associate Director for the Center for Biomedical Engineering, 2020 STC Innovation Fellow, and his technology is the basis of the startup Biosafe Defenses. Our next awardee is Dr. Yin Yang, who is a research associate professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. And finally, our final uh, awardee is Dr. Payman Zarkesh Ha, who is an associate professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. His technology is the basis for the startup company Dynamic Photonics, Inc. So what a diverse group of individuals and, and technologies. Uh, we really want to warmly congratulate all of you for your wonderful uh, work that's resulted in, in all of these patents. So lastly, we invite all of the inventor awardees who have received issued patents this year, everyone on this list that we just went through, to come by the Lobo Rainforest Building this Friday, May 1st, between 1 and 3 p.m. to collect your award. You will see, receive an award plaque which lists all of your patents that you received this year. You will receive a check with a financial stipend of $250 per issued patent this year. Copies of the award program, which is a beautiful uh, document. There will be a couple of copies in that. And two champagne flutes, which you can see the design on the right hand side of your screen here. We're sorry we can't have a toast in person with you, but um, you could, you'll have a couple of champagne flutes to have a toast at your home. I want to give a special thanks to our sponsors this year who made these financial stipends possible for us to give to our inventor awardees. So in this time that we live in right now, we want to minimize um, interactions and, and practice safe social distancing. So we'll have a drive up area where inventors may pull up and collect their awards from a staff member without having to leave their car. So we wanna make that as safe as possible. All inventor honorees will receive an email soon with more details about the drive through event. <clears throat> Our awards program is also available online for viewing along with a press release summarizing the event. So thank you again for attending our Innovation Awards webinar. Congratulations to our 57 inventor awardees, the 2020 Innovation Fellow, Dr. David Witten, and the 2019 NAI Fellows, Dr. Bryce Chakirian and Dr. David Peabody. Thank you all for being with us today.